I, was, I grew up in a democratic world, and I've lived in democratic cities all my life, although I think there's much too much partisanship. I guess the question is, do you believe that, that Republicans and Democrats can work together with this as an independent? See, it's not just individuals getting together at the high levels of governors or Do you think independents level. are included enough? Do you think there's enough there? No, there's not. In fact, there are structural limitations against independents from being from participating as full-fledged citizens in this country. In some ways, there's a, a sort of a Jim Crow against independence in this country, which... What's happening nationally is critical. Uh, the American people are fed up with partisanship. Partisanship certainly infects politics in New York City and, and New York State. We've seen some of the really detrimental effects of it. In March, independent mayor Michael Bloomberg impaneled a charter revision commission, which is considering nonpartisan municipal elections a reform that would open New York City's elections to independents. Commissioner Cohn. Uh, yes, I have a question for the second speaker. I think your name was Liza, the yes. former Californian, yes. right? Um, where in California you voted and how it worked since you told us that it worked? Sure, well, I lived in Sacramento, California, which is the capital of California, and Really, the way it worked is that all of the uh, people who are running for office are placed in a general ballot, and then the voters go on a first run and vote for whoever they want. And then the uh, top two get placed on a run-up of election, and then the voters get to decide. I have to say that nonpartisan elections is not one of my issues on this on this commission, um, but I, I know that I have been struck in these hearings at the range, extent, and passion of testimony on this subject. And I think that um, while the Commission may very well ultimately decide not to put something about this on the ballot, it would be seriously remiss of us not to explore it. Young people like myself look at each issue on its own, not as part of an overreaching ideology. And young people, like myself, vote for people, not parties. But what are we told here in New York City? If we go to vote in primaries, we're told that we're not wanted unless we join their party. It doesn't have to be this way, though. Young people, like myself, are told that we are the future of New York City and are encouraged to be involved in the decision-making process. I want to ask the Charter Revision Commission to take young people seriously, to take me seriously, and to put nonpartisan elections on the ballot so we can have the right to participate and be heard. We know that one idea that you're considering is to change the New York City election system from a, not, from a partisan one to a nonpartisan one. And we, the young people of the All Stars, support that. Let's drop the parties and the politics. Let's have nonpartisan elections. Let's have a real debate done with respect. Let's create a new way that's good for the whole city. Most of the cities in this country have nonpartisan elections, and the majority of those young pe of people locked out independents are people of color, 20% African American, 11% Asian, 24% Latino, and 25% under the ages of 30. What our young people are saying to us is we don't want to be in a party, we are independents, and we want to do politics in a new way, and we have to support that effort, and that's what we're fighting for here in New York. City.